Hello and welcome to Somerville Ed TV. I'm Todd Harmon and today we have something special going on. We are covering the 2022 GBL Cross Country Championships here at Torbett McDonald Park just off of Route 16 in Medford. Jason.
By Dave Dickerson. He is a track coach for Somerville High School. We just watched the girls cross country team as they continued their dominance throughout this season with a GBL championship and uh, it was very exciting to see uh, what was it uh, I believe it was four or five top ten finishes for the uh, girls team as a matter of fact. Is that correct Dave? 
Uh, that, exactly. Their top five came in four, five, six, nine, and ten. So they ran, the top three ran in a pack together, which is what they love to do in a cross-country meet. They feed off of each other, and they stayed close, even though the Medford girls clearly were far and away mm -hmm. first and second, and absolutely. they ended up winning. Fantastic. Yes, absolutely, man. Uh, five Highlanders in the top ten. Uh, let's see here. Margaret O'Sullivan finishing fourth. Uh, Manal Zahid uh, finishing fifth. Uh, Annika Bach finishing sixth. That's that group, that triumvirate that yeah. you spoke of that ran together. They loved doing that. And then uh, ninth place was Charlotte Johnson. And then Meredith uh, Fellinger, Fellinger getting uh, the tenth place. So those are all uh, basically all stars now in the GBL. They'll they be are. receiving medals. They are. Good, great performances as well on down the line as well. Number 13 for Cindy uh, Luxama and uh, number 25 for Ana Sofia uh, Protopapas. Yeah. And uh, just a tremendous showing for the entire team there on the varsity side for and, the girls. And Cindy Luxama should get a lot of credit. Even though she was sixth, she's been the person that encouraged all of these girls to come out and run. She's a sprinter more mm -hmm. than a distance runner. And the numbers for cross country for the girls two years ago, after the pandemic, and even before, were down to three girls. They didn't even have a full team. Now look at them. Yeah, this absolutely. Is great. Yeah, I was noting that uh, only two seniors on the team this year. Yeah. So such a young team, and you've got, you know, Somerville, a bright future there in terms of girls cross country because, you know, you've got uh, Charlotte Johnson finishing ninth. You've got, uh, and she's a sophomore, got another sophomore, and Annika Bach finishing sixth. And then, um, let's see here, one of the seniors, of course, uh, uh, Manal uh, Zahid, she, she was leading the pack there as well at number five. And then also a freshman, Margaret O'Sullivan, yeah, uh, she comes in fourth place here in the GBL this year, just in 2022. So the future's so bright and such a distance that the uh, girls' program specifically has come over the past couple of years. Yeah, it's fun to watch. Absolutely. Really fun to watch. It's just absolutely wonderful to see that for the girls' program and the future that they have coming up ahead of them. Of course, the boys' program also undefeated. We have their race soon to begin. Um, talk very quickly about this course here. And it is the Medford Mustangs home course here at uh, McDonald Park. And basically it begins down along the Mystic River and they run along the Mystic River and basically back towards, away from, I should say, back away from the uh, Highway Patrol barracks that's along uh, Mystic Valley Parkway. And then they run up to the parkway, running parallel to the parkway. Um, and then they circle around the Riverwalk, par uh, Riverwalk path, basically, that uh, is here at McDonald Park. And then the final bit, they come up this hill that's over here to my right. It is kind of a heartbreak hill. After you've run five kilometers, you have to come up this hill after three laps around the park. And uh, really, you see the strain whenever folks are coming up. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice test for them to finish on the hill. And Medford, of course, showing out very well today, their home course, so it makes sense yeah. um, in terms of the girls. Now, the boys. Uh, very dominant throughout the year, 7-0 and also, just like the girls' program, and uh, almost a record breaker um, over on the Somerville uh, course as Sam Buckley, just a tremendous performance throughout the year for Sam, uh, was only three seconds off, I heard, yep. of the Somerville High School uh, record. Uh, I, I, I saw Sam's father, as a matter of fact, as we were walking around here, I brought that up to him. He was like, you know, that, that kind of hurts, but yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. I know, I, you know, there was talk about maybe trying to get another meet in there as well, but also, you know, Sam has some great opportunities moving forward, looking for the state uh, tournament as well, coming up in a couple weeks. Uh, finished in the top 100 last year in the state. Looking forward to some opportunities as well for him there. And this, the team itself ranked in the Boston Globe top 20 a couple, uh, just two weeks ago, Wellesley bumped them out. But now with this performance today, if they're able to come through in the GBL championship, they can get right back in that Globe top 20. That's my guess, that they'll be in the top 20 after this. Uh, they almost apologized for yes. pulling them out of the top 20. Yes, because, they did. Because there was a good performance by Wellesley, I believe. Yep. But Sam, and the good note on Sam's course, trying to get the course record for the Somerville course, is that he got to meet the course record holder oh. a couple of weeks ago up at Somerville High. That's fantastic. Tyler Evett stopped by when they were doing a parkour demonstration, and uh, 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 Kyler couldn't be a better ambassador for some little track. Fantastic, fantastic. And Sam just uh, committed to Colby. Awesome. Not Colby, Bates. Bates? Up in Maine. So Sam will so be... So he's psyched. 
Sam planning that future. Senior senior Sam Buckley, top runner for the Highlanders, but also some other great runners for the boys. Uh, Bryce Hopkins did very well throughout the season, another senior. Um, also, uh, let's see here, Atticus, uh, Atticus K, uh, uh, as well as Atticus Borgard, yep. uh, did very, very well throughout the season. He's a younger runner, a junior. Um, and then also a senior on the squad is Eric Bach as well. I assume that would be Annika's brother. It is. There you go. Put those names together, I can figure those things out. So running right there in the Bach family, uh, lots of uh, running through the Bach family, I should say. We're looking for more of a more of a strong performance for the boys in the GBL. They've been the cream of the crop throughout the season, or seven and zero record yeah, you coming should, in. You should see the top four should be Somerville Fantastic. kids running through in a pack. Whether they're going to finish top four, I don't know, but. They should be there. And we're going to wrap this up. Absolutely. Sounds great. We look forward to the race now.
Number. Yeah. 
Islanders are now 8-0 as they've won the GBL and we have two of the top three winners here amongst uh, the Highlanders. We have with me right here Atticus K, number 60 right there, although he was number 90 on the uh, sheet here, which confused me. And then we also have Bryce Hopkins right here. Bryce came in third place. Atticus came in second. Sam Buckley came in first place. Um, but uh, without Sam here right now, I wanted to ask uh, Atticus, who came in second. That hasn't happened all year, right? I mean, you've, you've, you've beat Sam one time this year, yep, right? Yeah, we had an invitational yep. a few, about a month ago, all right. where uh, he didn't have a great day and I was able to take advantage. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, this is Medford's home course here, but it's close to your guys' home course as well, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, now do you like this course or? I do. Okay, what do you like yeah. about this course? It's not super hilly. Really? Yeah, it's like, it's pretty good. I you just tried to last keep kill, though. Yeah, that doesn't look like fun. Is, is hilly, but the final stretch, is not yeah. so bad. Okay, fantastic. Now, you've got state coming up in like two weeks, right? That's yeah. over in Rentham. Um, you know, you both, uh, were you both, did you both compete in the state last year as well? Uh, I didn't do cross country. This is my okay. first year. I, I, I had not seen your numbers, yeah. as a matter of fact. And, and I, I, you, were, you were a DNF. I wanted to ask yeah, you about that yeah. last year. Did, did you? Uh, had a really bad cramp. Never had anything like that before. But right. here's hoping it doesn't happen again. I'm you telling know? you what, two weeks, two weeks from now, Rintham, you'll, have, you'll make some good memories then, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, how does it feel to be the GBL champs? It feels great. Yeah, All right. Honestly great. I just try and keep up with these two guys. You know, they're insane, but when we were talking to your coaches, we were talking to them about how you guys like the, they were talking to us, I should say, about how you guys like to run as a pack, kind of run, run as a group. How helpful is that for you whenever you're running um, running together like that throughout the entire course? It's really helpful because, you know, I get to run. It motivates me like, you know, they motivate me to run faster. Mm -hmm. uh, the other Atticus, he's great, too. I just, um, the Atakai, as yeah. I was told. <laughs> I like I just ru like running in a pack. Awesome. Yeah, it really motivates good. me. So it helps out, just it motivates you, keep you, keeps you going. And do you guys say anything while you're running? I know talking oh, while God, running is no. probably not a good idea. Don't have the energy for that. Nah. All right. It's good though. It's, Maybe it's like, a good team mentality, you know? Absolutely. Maybe like in the beginning of the race, yeah, right. a couple yeah. words, and then we start it up. There we go. There we go. Well, congratulations. Thank we you. I know thank we got uh, medal ceremonies coming and all that stuff. You guys got your numbers in. But thank you very much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, guys, one funny one. <laughs> funny on three. One, two, three. Dylan, you don't want to be moving from the camera. No, but I'm being funny. Get on somebody. <laughs> Don't, don't move, don't move, hold on a second. Ooh, oh my god. Oh Scaring me, my, my back just hurt. Hey, do me a favor. Go, come down so I can take one really quality shot, all right? Uh, and Dylan, slide over. All right, buddy, come on on three. On three. Oh, he's squishing, squishing. There you go, here you go. Quality shot. One, two, three. Nice job. And we are with the GBL champion right here, uh, Sam Buckley, the GBL champion. He has won throughout the year and done a tremendous job. Uh, it's great to have you here, Sam. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Uh, running here at the Medford Home Park, right. very close to the uh, Somerville High School uh, Boathouse run. Um, I know you were three seconds off the champion or the the record on there. Just uh, missed it. 
Now, I know that bothers you, but right. but you did get to meet the record holder, right. I heard. It was, How was, it was that? amazing. It was really just a, a I don't know, kind of kind of mind-blowing opportunity because I, I saw his name like as a freshman. I was like, oh my God, can you imagine being that fast? And now to, to, to get that close to his time and to, and to meet him in person was really surreal. Fantastic. Yeah, awesome experience. Well, now, um, you are a GBL champion yeah. now. How does that feel? <laughs> It feels great. You awesome. know, I had a little taste of it last year, but it feeling doesn't get old. <laughs> and on top of that, now you right. look forward to state in two weeks over right. in Rintham. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how are you feeling about that race? I'm feeling really good. I think we got a chance to qualify as a team for all states, which is amazing. That's the first time in a while. But yeah. now we also noted in your coaches were telling us you, right. Bryce, and Atticus. Right. Like to run kind of as a pack together. Right, for sure. How does it help you in terms of running with your uh, your teammates? Running in races and running in, in training, it's really I don't know, same principle, and uh, you should always got someone to, to push you and to stay together with. It really helps helps the whole team, helps the individual, and helps the team. And yeah, proves in the pudding. <laughs> when you're coming up this big hill right here, right? How's that feel at the end, right here, it coming up amazing. the big hill? I felt amazing. I could kind of tell. Oh, I had a little breathing room. I was, I was feeling great. It was awesome. really. Really amazing. Just I just heard Atticus though. He was saying, you know, he beat you one time this <laughs> he year. He beat me once. He did. All once right. Out so, of, out of so state, you know, the the gauntlet right. is thrown the down between on, you yeah. and Atticus. I'm just saying. <laughs> yep. No, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. It's gonna okay. be awesome. All right. Well, good luck. Good Thank luck you. in state Thank and so congratulations, much. my Thank friend. You. everyone being here, both the athletes, the coaches, the parents, the spectators. It was really fantastic to meet today on this beautiful fall day. It was really wonderful to have you all here. And it was really wonderful to watch everyone run so hard today. You guys really, really gave it your all. And it was really inspiring to watch, to watch my team, watch everyone else's team come out here today and just do so well. It was really a great end to the Greater Boston League season. So you give yourselves all a round of applause. So, uh, Outs right now is the top 10 finishers in both the boys varsity and the girls varsity race. They'll be receiving medals here from Coach Lou and uh, they are GBL All-Stars for the season. So uh, they really like, they give them, uh, when they come up, give them a round of applause here. Um, so we'll start with the girls. They went first, so we'll read the girls' results first. Okay. In 10th place from Somerville, uh, Fellinger. Fel oh. In ninth place from Somerville, Johnson. In eighth place from Lynn English, Mikhail. from Revere, Rupp. In sixth place from Somerville, Book. In fifth place from Somerville, Manal. from Somerville, O'Sullivan. In third place from Chelsea, Rodriguez. In second place from Medford, Viara. And first, first place from Medford, Casey. The unofficial team score will get the exact one to you later, but uh, in terms of uh, finishers, Everett League Classical and English and Revere didn't have five finishers, but then of the teams that had five finishers, uh, Malden was in fourth place with 151 points. Um, John, Chelsea was third place with 89 points. Uh, Bedford was second place with 51 points. Somerville is first with 34 points. Now the boys. In 10th place from Chelsea, Flores.
place from Medford, Lally. In seventh place from Bedford, Higgins. In sixth place from Bedford, Orcult. In fifth place from Somerville, Fellinger. In fourth place from Lynn English, McHale. from Somerville, is it Bryce? Is it Bryce? Oh, In second place from Somerville, uh, In first place, the GBL champion, Buckley from Somerville. Everett with 110. Uh, in fourth place, Balder with 108. Uh, in third place, Chelsea with 97. In second place, Bedford with 47. Uh, first place also from Somerville. 